Everybody loves the realm of what ifs. So what if I run out of ice screws at the top? Or what if my ice clipper broke and all of them went down or the rest of them went down? This system, although it looks strong, is not. This does not give me the warm fuzzy feelings. So what would I do? Depends on what's up there. Maybe I have really deep snow and I could build a dead man or a nice huge bollard. Maybe there's nothing but ice up here. Then I'm gonna down send to my previous screws and grab those. So why is this not strong? This is body weight only. The picks aren't designed like ice screws are designed. So clipping into the spike is, is pretty much only body rated. It's really, really low. So putting your entire crew on there, not the best plan. In the scenario where I have one screw left, ideally I'll build a V-thread, keep that as one of my anchor points, and then add the screw and equalize that. Ideally in ice climbing, we want a high master point. In this situation, it's gonna be really difficult for me to pull in slack quickly enough for our low angle climb that we're on. This hunched over position is really uncomfortable and it's hard for me to keep up with my climber. The other issues that are presented is oftentimes this type of ice ends up being just a shell and not as solid and uniform as I think it might be. Whereas if I had gone up a little bit farther into more of a vertical realm, I'd have a more comfortable stance to belay and wouldn't be hunched over and I could probably keep up with my climber better. I'd also be in better ice and I'd be out of the way in the next pitch of ice for that falling ice coming down off to the side in a better place.